Tina Flores has squeezed a lot out of this mud stove in the hut that's been her home for 20 years. She raised seven children, putting them through primary school by selling tortillas in the neighborhood. But these days, she says, even that would be impossible. I was able to bear the burden because back then it was a lot easier. Now things are different. A high cost of living, little work and no access to cheap credit make progress a distant dream. Which is why two weeks ago her youngest daughter took her two-year-old child and found a smuggler to take her to the United States. We've always been poor. That hasn't changed. The difference is that before, we at least could live in peace, despite the hardship. Violence has joined with rampant poverty to push thousands of Hondurans to opt for the dangerous route of illegal immigration. This is Tercera Avenida, San Pedro Sula's main street, a normal enough scene of bustling traffic and people coming in and out of shops. But above the street, a dirty pair of shoes hangs from power lines. They were placed there by one of the drug gangs to indicate they control the area. It's become nearly impossible for small business owners and shopkeepers to operate free from violence. Gang members routinely extort a war tax. People have to pay them a weekly sum of money or they die. Shopkeepers say the extortions are terrifying. We have to save some money to have on hand in case sales are low and they come by to collect their payments. Violence continues unabated in Honduras. With more than 90 murders per 100,000 people, it is the country with the highest crime rate in the world. Because of the violence and its effect on the economy, Hondurans now account for the largest group of non-Mexican illegal immigrants to the United States. Tina says she is not surprised her daughter decided to leave. The dangers on the road are no worse than the danger at home. Harris Whitbeck, Al Jazeera, San Pedro Sula, Honduras.